Hi guys. So today we'll see agent force configuration for Slack development. So we have three units. Let's see one by one. The first one is what learn how agent force and Slack work together. So we have a multiple choice questions. Let's see. So where does the Slack user go to browse the agent available them? Agent Force Builder, Slack Homepage, Slack Agent Force Hub, Slack Agent Setup. So go with the Slack Agent Force Hub. An employee asks the HR agent to in Slack about their benefits in this year. The employer message is sent to the agent successfully, but they didn't receive a response from the agent. So what is the possible cause for this? We'll go with the A. The agent was not assigned the Slack action to send a idea. Just check this challenge. Done. So we completed this. Next, we'll go for the second unit. Second unit. Configure a Slack agent in Salesforce. Configure a Slack agent in Salesforce. So in the previous uh, module, we already created a Slack. Right? It's already connected to our org. Right. Done. So this is my org. Then what we have to do? So just to have to go to the setup and uh, just we can go and find out the uh, agent force agents. Find out agent force uh, agents so under the agent force agents so you can find out here th product specialist click on that th product specialist then click on open builder top right we have open builder Top right, we have open builder. Click on that open builder. Right. So you have to select a, a product gaps. You have to select a product, a product gaps. Click on that product gaps. Then after, so we have the second topic, this topic actions. Select that uh, sub tab. Then you can go here, new button. And here we have an option add from asset library. Add from asset library. Click on that add from asset library. We have to add these uh, four topics. Right. Now you can come here. How to select uh, create a Slack canvas. this one copy right you can paste it right check this checkbox next update a slack canvas next search next send a message got it so just check this uh, for uh, Actions, then click on here, finish. Just how to check, right? So whether those four will be added or not. Right, it's successfully added. Next. Okay, so now just to go back to the uh, product gaps. Right. Go back to the uh, product gaps under the topic configuration. Right. So we need to add the two instructions. First one and second one. We have a uh, two instructions. Copy the first one. 
paste it copy paste it then click on here save done next the next step is what uh, okay right uh, copy this uh, instruction from just refresh this uh, conversation preview and give me the prompt okay go with the second prompt done go with the third one that's it right so we need to activate this agent just you can go here top right we have activate button now click on that activate done okay right so now you can go here your slack this is our agent Right. So next, go back to the agent. So here we have a TH product specialist. Is there? Click on that. Then here we have uh, the connections. Connection sub tab is there. Now click on that connections. Then in the bottom we have add button. Click on that add button. Right. So what was the connection type? API. What was the integration name? This is the integration name. Right. So connected app. What was that app? That is a Slack. Slack. That's it. Then click on here. Save button. that's it we added now next uh, okay so that's it for this unit then so what we have to do check this challenge click on the challenge done so we successfully completed the second unit. Let's go for the third one. This is the third unit, right? So here what we have to do, right? So we need to work with the Slack. So if you connected another Slack email, just you have to disconnect that one. Then you have to connect whatever the Slack previously you connected, right? So now, now you can go here bottom, see here. Just click on here, launch, done. Then next what we have to do we need to install the agent in the slack right so uh, this is our slack it's loading right so now so 
go to the home tab that's it now click on this and here we have a tools and settings your workspace name tools and settings then after manager salesforce organization settings organization settings See here, organization settings. Click on this organization settings. Right, I've got it. And then after, then after, left hand side, Salesforce agent tab. Right. So we have a Salesforce, and we have a agent force tab. Click on that agent force tab. Click on that uh, Agent Force uh, tab. Just to click on that review. Just click on that uh, review. Done. Right. Uh, so then click on here, hello. Right. Just to how to check your. Uh, name then click on here add to one workspace then here you have to select everyone select everyone then click on the save that's it right uh, so next uh, what was the next one okay so interact with the agent slack right as uh, so i head to the slack workspace right just refresh it So in the left side, we have an agent force icon is there now. Click on that agent force icon. Right, so this is our agent, right? Click on this agent. Copy this uh, prompt. Just uh, give me the prompt. With the second prompt nice with the third prompt done Yes. Okay, so that's it for this step, right? So, right. So we signed, we installed the agent, right? Access it, right? We test the agent also done, right? So now you can check the challenge. Done. So we successfully completed agent force configuration for the Slack development.